thank you so much for joining us on this conversation about the future of entertainment and media. Um, we have an incredible array of panelists. We actually initially had two panels because we just had so much talent, but we decided to combine it because I think so many of the themes are very complementary. Whether you're talking about print media or music or entertainment, so um, we're going to put it all together. And we have a really impressive lineup here. Matt Sorum, among many other things, uh, is an inductee to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's a Grammy winner. Stefan is a 20-year music industry veteran who is now embarking on a new venture in blockchain. Heidi Pees, among other things, runs the LA Blockchain Lab. Pablo is the founder of Storm, which has many incredible companies under its umbrella. Daniel is a real technologist who is actively building solutions to capture value for artists. And Aaron Stanley is a reporter with Coindesk. So lots of experts to glean wisdom from. And I guess just to start, I'd love to hear, and we're going to keep this very pithy because it's 8 PM, and 8 PM panels are no fun unless the answers are short. Um, in 30 seconds, why blockchain captured your interest? Hello. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've been an open protocol evangelist since um, I ran an ISP in the mid-90s. And um, when blockchain came along, I was a bit of a skeptic, actually, uh, uh, the whole hype machine. And that changed when I um, was uh, invited to participate in an EU-funded project called Bloomin. And it's a, it's a blockchain and media project. So I got into blockchain that way. And also, I was also invited earlier this year to uh, assist with the launch of EOS DAC, which is a, a DAC based on EOS, uh, which airdropped a, um, a load of tokens to the EOS community. And that was very interesting too. So it's an exciting world. And Daniel, what does your solution look like? Sure. So uh, Kendra IO is a non-profit open source company, and uh, we're building uh, the Kendra IO app, which is basically answering a lot of the issues that have been talked about here about the frustration with too much admin, the frustration with too, too, many, too many actual places to go and sell your content. You have to do social media um, and the, the, too, too much data e to even discover how you might process it or, or visualize it. So we're creating a, an app which is a dashboard that will uh, allow uh, a creator and th their managers, um, and, and we're doing it for the sectors of the, the music, um, video, and images, and also we've been asked by galleries to, to do it for um, to, to asset management for physical uh, works as well, which is quite interesting. Um, asset management and also linking into services. So we're plugging into services and bringing all of that information here. I was speaking to a guy on Monday and he said, well, it sounds like minority report. You know, you're dragging things all over the place and visualizing and twisting things. And, and that's exactly kind of where we're going to go with this. I think that will take a few years itself, but we're building the infrastructure so that we can download sales reports. We can visualize from multiple places and then say, let's do comparisons. What, what is it like in this country? And, 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 and what was the effect of me, um, yeah, that, that the sale of, or that gig there, you know, and how did it affect sales? So I think that's, the, these are the tools that enterprises have. These are the tools that the big um, uh, content uh, creators have in, in, in their uh, um, arsenal. And um, I think what we're really interested in doing is bringing this back to um, smaller um, artists and creators so that they can, Spend more time doing, exactly you're saying, more time doing art and, and, and less time doing admin. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, um, it's not, I don't know that we have a, an answer for that yet, but I do think it's uh, something to, to think on. And may something. I may I speak to that? Just, just. Mm, very quickly, okay, yes. Okay, well, the, rather than looking, trying to establish what is fake news, we, uh, Kendra Io looked at, uh, Kendra Io Verify, and we looked at what we could do to verify 
what is true news. So there's a different way of looking at it. A lot of people have done AI algorithms for fake news, but rather than why not get people to digitally sign, yeah, that's me. That was my that was me who took the photo. That was me in the photo. That you know, this is my rights. So it links also into the rights as well. We need to digitally sign these facts before we put them onto the blockchain. So we need to verify these facts. So there you go. It's a quick no, answer. I think that's a great a great point. And Daniel, I'm interested in getting a timeline from you as well, um, Blumen. And then I'd now? also like for you <laughs> to comment on the question of kind of open protocols. We have a couple of distinct solutions that have been outlined here. I'm wondering how they're going to work together. Are they going to work together? Is there going to be a winner? How do you see that playing out? Oh, my God. OK, so um, first off about the intermediaries because it's really important to talk about that because there's a lot of people out there who are still really necessary and th we, we talked about that. And, and I wanna reframe it, intermediary into a collaborator. And I also wanna put the artist in the center of that. So yeah, I'm gonna drag in a manager for a week and I'm gonna play with that and I'll see how, oh no, I don't like that one. So I'm gonna use another one. So it's about be being putting the artist or the creator or the owner in the center and letting them play with different systems, different configurations really easily. And you can, y you'll be able to do that when things are fluid and they're standardized. So that's, that's one, one aspect. Um, the the idea that there will be winners anymore just 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 um, I I think it's a crazy idea and I, and I I think it's it's I think um, <clears throat> it it fuels a lot of uh, people's desire to run a business but I think it's the wrong motivation um, I think. I think businesses should be working 50% on their vertical and 50% on collaboration. Because I think the, the collaboration part, the open protocol that we should be talking to each other and, and messaging each other and sharing and having federated systems, that's really important to get a fluid um, uh, kind of uh, I ecosystem where, where data is portable and artists have the freedom to move between and experiment with different, different services. Um, in terms of time scale, I, 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 I think that's, that's, that's well, you, you've got to say it's an unknown and it, a lot of it depends on the inv investment from um, if, if philanthropists in our case, because we're non-profit and we, uh, you, they, we can't buy shares in Kendra IO. <laughs> so and and um, normal investors in other companies. Um, so so I, I'm I'm not a fortune teller, and I don't believe anyone who says it's going to take this long or this is going to happen at this point. What the kind of people I like to talk with are the people that are inspired to actually say this is what I want in my life or this is what I want to see in the world. That's the kind of that's the kind of person I would sp um, work with. <laughs> Thank you. Two comments, one on the infrastructure and one on the interface. So the infrastructure, uh, when we started an internet company in the mid-90s, it was beautiful. Anyone could. You just plugged your router into someone else's lease line, and then you could then sell lease lines from that. And it was an amazing time because everything just worked. It was a protocol. And what I really want to emphasize is we need that in this space as well. So we can have all these blockchain providers but they all need to speak to each other and pass your information along. You have all been incredibly patient I live in LA. Um, as we've gone way over time. But thank you. This has been a really dynamic discussion. Come ask them more questions, please.